Welcome to this illustrated integration video between SMAX and JIRA. The video presents two use cases. The first integrates incident to defect. Second use case shows a portal-based defect or enhancement request creation. And in the third section, we'll look at the setting up details for configuring this integration. Use case one, incident to defect integration. We start as an agent logged on to SMAX executing the incident management application. The agent proceeds to create a new incident. I'll start by creating this incident to report a security issue that is apparent with an application. Expense application seems to have a security, security hole. Uh, users are reporting that sensitive data can be exposed. I'll select a service for this. It's dealing with the expense application. And then select an incident model that has been set up specifically for dealing with application defects. As this model is selected, the incident is automatically categorized and assigned to the application services team. But I can also further enter information about the defect that will be sent to the R&D team that owns this application. Describe the defect. Uh, users can use REST APIs to access sensitive, I'll proceed to save the incident. At this point, as the incident has been created, the workflow has sent it from log to initial support. And the task plan for the incident has already executed some steps defined in the incident model that create a JIRA bug issue automatically, and then store critical information such as the JIRA ticket number, URL to the uh, JIRA uh, ticket on its interface. We can look at that information directly stored under the assignment section of the incident, where we can see the external ticket link that guides us to JIRA and also gives us the JIRA issue ID. I can uh, follow the link to the JIRA issue, and this will open a new tab that directly logs me in and displays the information in JIRA. We can see that the status can be checked in JIRA. Let's say that right now this is in progress, indicating that somebody is working on it. I'm working on the defect. Back on SMAX, we can see that there is a field called external ticket status that will receive the details of the status as the workflow is advanced on the JIRA side. Now, typically, this would be updated through a recurring integration, inbound integration of changes from JIRA into SMAX. Uh, for purpose of demonstration, I can trigger that update by going into the More menu, where we've added a case exchange menu item with a Get JIRA Update action. I'm doing this uh, to manually trigger the update that otherwise will occur on a recurring time interval. As I do that and I look at the assignment, I can see that the uh, external ticket status has been changed. So we can see that now the external status is in progress just as we saw it in JIRA. And uh, let's say that the defect actually has been completely fixed in the code. I'm gonna change the status to done on JIRA. And back on the SMAX side, I'll run the, I'll run the inbound integration requests again. And as we do this, uh, we'll notice a couple of things. First, before I completely update my incident, we'll see that right now we've been on an initial support uh, status in the workflow. However, after I've received the update from JIRA, we can see that the workflow of the incident has automatically been moved to review, meaning that the application defect has been fixed and somebody's gonna review when the actual code is, is deployed and the application uh, reasons for the defect creation in this incident have also been resolved. We can see also in the general tab, by the way, that of course our status from the external system is, is done. So we've had both an inbound update of the status into the ticket, and that has also triggered a workflow 
uh, movement within the incident to take us all the way into the review phase. The second integration use case is around a portal-based defect enhancement request creation. Let's take a look at that as well. Here I've logged on to the SMAX self-service portal where I can make requests as, use, as a user of services and applications. And uh, as I look at the, the services and assets that are assigned to me by various subscriptions, I can see that one of the applications I typically use is my uh, e-expense reporting application. And within the, the details of this application, I can uh, make several kinds of support requests, including one that you can see here that says report any expense bug or enhancement request. As I click on that, a form is presented where I can enter details about the type of bug or enhancement that I want to report. Uh, I would like to make an enhancement Request, request for e-expense, and I'll uh, provide a short title of my issue. It would be great to have mobile access and support. Uh, this is not a bug, it actually is an improvement type of request, and I can put some uh, more details here. I will have some iPhone when I travel and would like to report expenses on the go. I'll go ahead and submit that. I can see that a uh, request has been created. I have a request uh, ticket number as well. Here we can see, as I check status, that already a message has been sent back to the user. An issue has been created on your behalf in our Jira application issue tracking system and even has an ID for that enhancement request as it's been recorded with the application team. Uh, at the same time, I can navigate to the views that an agent has on service request management. And we can see the ticket that was created on behalf of that user. And as I drill down to the ticket, I will see similar information as we saw in the incident telling us about the, the JIRA, in this case, uh, enhancement issue that has been opened. Uh, and we have a URL for that opened here as well. Back on the JIRA side, I can see here in my system dashboard, actually an activity stream of defects and enhancement requests that have been reported. And we can see the one that was created uh, with the statements entered, entered in the SMAC service portal. It would be great to have a mobile access and support to the expense and the description here. I use iPhone when I travel and would like to report expenses on the go. The application team can now take a look at this as part, as, as part of their backlog of enhancements requests. Let's look briefly as well at how this integration can be set up into your own environment. Uh, we always, we only, I will only go over this briefly here in this recording, but a full document has been created giving details on the steps that we just saw for executing the use cases and then behind the scenes setting up the integration which and then the specifics for either request management for the portal or for incident where a model or offering is created to define an actual task plan that will execute the rest calls uh, and then we'll look at also the configuration of an inbound step from operations orchestration for updating the status back in SMAX as issues are updated in the JIRA side. The core of the integration for the outbound steps of creating the issues on JIRA are all based on task plans defined either on an incident model or on a request offering. Let's take a look at the application defect incident model, which as you recall was used to uh, assign specific task plans to the incident that it had created earlier. Within this model, we have the task plan that will execute as the incident goes to initial support. And the very first step is an automatic task uh, plan uh, phase task that creates a JIRA bug issue. And uh, this is a rule that executes a REST uh, API on the agent and endpoint that has been predefined. And then we'll pass in 
the right type of information in a JSON body that is expected by, by JIRA. Now, the details of what can be passed on that, that payload are described in the document that, uh, that we referenced earlier, so we can see what the format of the JSON is. You can also, of course, get more information on, on the JIRA documentation website. But uh, you'll see things that we're passing in in this integration, including the name of the project within JIRA, where the issue is created, uh, summary and description texts, which are going to be obtained dynamically from the request or the incident, and then also an issue type, whether it's a, a bug or enhancement. And the documentation describes how to dynamically put in values here using a DSL expression that obtains information, for example, from uh, the, the user options or fields in the request or incident. The second thing that's interesting is that the REST execution will put the results back on user options, basically parsing the JSON result that comes back from, from JIRA. And uh, the fields in that payload that, that comes back are stored in user options. We see a number of user options defined here, such as uh, the JIRA issue ID, uh, the key, the, even like the raw output of what comes back from JIRA. All of these are automatically parsed back by the SMAX REST business rule and then put into our user options so we can use them further in other steps in the task plan. So if we look at the task plans, for example, we're going to store the external ticket number into the incident, and that is done by uh, setting the external reference number to the user option ID that has come back with the value parsed back from, from the JIRA results. The second critical part of the integration comes into play with the inbound step that is executed right now through a flow defined in operation orchestration. We can see the, the flow here. And basically this flow, it invokes uh, JIRA through its own REST APIs to get the status on the issue. Then it parses that information and prepares it for the payload that we'll use to update the incident or request in SMAX. And then we connect to APIs uh, REST APIs into SMACs and update the incident there as well. The flow that we saw in O uh, will be made available in the marketplace and instructions for how it gets invoked are also in the documentation that we were looking at earlier, including the, the setup of a specific business rule that invokes the flow directly. And, uh, and with that, uh, we close this introduction illustrated integration between SMAX and JIRA. This is a configurable integration with some best practice details documented that you can then use for extending further the, the integration according to the further data that you want to pass back and forth between the systems using the codeless configuration in SMAX or the OO integration flow that uh, will bring inbound data back into the, the SMAC system from JIRA. Thank you very much.